Welcome back to the fifth quarter. Usually our show is built around Friday night action, but we had a handful of Thursday night late games this week. The Oakdale Warriors were one of those teams trying to take the field as first year head coach Kevin Bertrand was hoping to build off last week's win against Grand Lake. Lake Arthur at home taking on Oakdale, who is coming off of a big win last week. Opening drive for Oakdale, Deverick Winfield takes the handoff and books it to the outside, and no Tigers were going to catch him as he strolls in for the touchdown. Lake Arthur now with the ball. Cameron Boyne drops back, looks downfield, and slings this one deep to Xavier Drake, hitting him in stride. And Drake does the rest as he goes in for the long touchdown. Oakdale threatening to score again. It's Deverick Winfield once again who takes it up the sideline. Almost an identical play from earlier, and it's the same result as he gets in for the score. Both teams trading touchdowns in this game would go down to the wire with the difference being one touchdown. Lake Arthur would go on to win a close one, 26-20 over Oakdale. The Maryville Panthers hosting Pickering on Thursday night. Panthers on the goal line quarterback Josh Robinson to take it in easily himself to put Maryville ahead as they get a nice touchdown there at home. Second quarter now, Jeremiah Robinson is going to get the carry. He's going to be able to just walk into the end zone on the carry for another touchdown, but the Panthers wanted more. The drives didn't stop there. It's going to be Josh Robinson again finding the end zone to put Maryville up 22 nothing before the half as Maryville comes out on top 30-7 to over Pickering. Bolton hosting LaGrange on Thursday with the Bears trying to get their first win of the season. The Gators get on the board first with a pass from Quintorius Jones. He finds Aiden Kowash to get the touchdown. Gators up 6 to nothing. A miscue by the Gators. Ball is on the ground and Bolton comes up with a big recovery by Christopher Lands. Bolton now has the momentum. A lateral pass to Royce Roberts. He picks up about 20 yards, but the Gators are able to stop the Bears' drive. Gators with the ball once again. They hand it off to Jeremiah White, and he finds the hole, taking it in for the touchdown. The Bolton Bears would fall to the LaGrange Gators 42 to nothing. And in their homecoming game tonight, Avoyles put on a show for their fans, shutting out Buckeye 46 to nothing. A big win for Coach Bannister and the Mustangs. The story of Senlaw High School football this season so far has been the emergence of the Astrosians. We knew they were good going into the year, but after a win against powerhouse Destrehan, the Trojans hope to continue their climb to a state title against another reigning state champ, Apollosis, hosting the three champions in Class 4. You can see them running out of their tunnel there. Opening drive, have the jumps in for an Opelousas touchdown. They took an early lead in this one, but this one's been back and forth for a while. Trojans, look at the running back screen pass, and he's gonna take it. Short gain, that's a first down though, and let's see how the Trojans would be able to capitalize. Rolling out, firing to the end zone, and a touchdown for Ash, a big play by number three. I think that's Jimmy Duncan. Nice play there as Appaloosa is trying to bounce back over at home. Quarterback dropping back. Long pass down the sideline. Nice moss catch. That's a huge play for the Tigers as they were trying to pull off a win at home. They get a goal line touchdown, but Ash comes away in the shootout. 43 to 40. Wow. Welsh at South Beauregard with the Knights trying to keep their undefeated streak. On the first drive for the Greyhounds, Cameron Boulay gets the ball and works some magic as he finds a gap and keeps on rolling until he goes down near the red zone. Moments later, they would give it Rick, it Rick back to Boulay. This time, he punches it in for a Greyhounds touchdown to go up 7-0 over the Knights. The Greyhounds then with the ball again, and it's Jovan Beauregard who takes it on the quarterback keeper and uses his wheels to get down the sideline and a massive gain for Welsh. Welsh would take this one over the Knights 28 to nothing to give South Beauregard their first loss of the season. Nat Central hosting Parkway at Turpin Stadium. Some good early defense from the Chiefs. Titus Williams able to catch the runner on the jet sweep for the big stop, but it was all Parkway from there. The running back, C.J. Dudley, throws a stiff arm, fights his way into the end zone for a Panther touchdown. Next drive, same result, a rushing touchdown to the outside for the Panthers. They beat the Chiefs 40-12. St. Mary's taking the road to face Manny as both Tigers teams hope for turnarounds in their season. St. Mary's found the red end zone first on a rushing touchdown in the middle by number 18 to give the Tigers the lead. St. Mary's would continue to have success on the ground as the game went on, but later on they take it to the air. Long pass is intercepted by Manny's corner, who gets a nice return out of it. The Manny offense would try to capitalize. Daniel Thomas gets the carry and gets a short gain. Later on that drive, Thomas finishes the drive 
drive with a Manny touchdown. But St. Mary's gets the shootout victory 64 to 34. Stay with us. Our plays of the week are up next. This fifth quarter scoreboard is sponsored by Antune Hospitality Group's family of restaurants, including Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen and Outlaw's Barbecue, Louisiana's most wanted and always the winning call.